Hello, May class, and welcome to your next maths lesson. So in the previous lesson, we were looking at fractions over one. And in today's lesson, we will be looking at the following. We are going to be looking at adding fractions with the same denominator. Now, remember, your denominator is the number at the bottom of your fraction. Before you do that, though, you are going to be doing your arithmetic. So pause the video now and finish your questions one to 10. And then when you unpause the video, I will have the answers up and we can go through and you can tick the answers for yourself. So pause the video now. Right, let's go through our answers. 86 times 100 is 8,600. What is a quarter of 100? You would divide 100 into four equal groups and it would be 25. What is 457 as a Roman numeral? It is C-D-L-V-I-I. -I. What number is next in the sequence? So we have 41, 37, 33, 29. And you will notice that they are going down in fours. So your next number would be 25. Six times six is 36. 65 divided by five is 13. What is 12 meters in centimeters? It's 1,200 centimeters. What is 4,461 plus 3,401? It's 7,862. What is 9,755 minus 3,454? The answer is 6,301. And lastly, what is 49 divided by seven? Sorry, the answer is seven. So 49 divided by seven is seven. Right, let's move on to our lesson. Right, in front of us, we have got a circle. If we look at the circle, how many parts has it been divided into? So we've gone through this quite a bit already, but we can see that it has been divided into four equal parts. There's a part, there's a part, there's a part, there's a part. So it's been divided into four equal parts, which means that it is quarters. So the, the amount of equal parts that it has been divided into is our denominator. So that there is our denominator. And we know from the fact that we've done this before is the number that would go at the top is our numerator. And that is dependent on, for example, how many of these pieces is colored in or how many pieces have been eaten or anything like that. So for example, that would be there. So the important thing when we are adding fractions is to pay attention to our denominator. And that is something I want you to keep in mind as we go through this lesson. So two parts are now blue. So just like I've shown you in the previous one, what is our fraction? So we know that it is out of four because there are four equal parts of which two of them are blue. Okay, so the fraction that we have is two quarters or similar to one half if we remembered our equivalent fractions. If we color in a third bit, we can see that we have colored in one more piece. So we have two quarters that are blue and uh, one quarter that is pink. So we have two quarters are blue and one quarter are pink. But if we look at them all together, we can see that three quarters has been colored in. So what fraction is this? So two quarters are blue, one quarter is pink, but there are three quarters that are colored in. So how many parts have we totally colored in? We can say three quarters. What is this as a number sentence? So your number sentence would be the following. You would have your two quarters that are blue, 
you would add your one quarter that was pink and you would get a total of three quarters are colored in. Now, take a moment and have a look at that question. Look at which number is changing and look at the numbers that are staying the same. When we are adding fractions, we can add them if the denominators are the same. So in this question, we can see that the denominator in my questions is a four. The number that's being added is the number at the top because we still have four pieces, but we have two pieces and then one piece colored in. And two plus one will give me three, but I'm not adding my bottom denominator because the denominator hasn't changed. I haven't got more pieces. I've still only got four. So I've added the top and it's still out of the four pieces that we have. Sorry, I've just lost my pen for a second. All right, we can use this model to calculate this as well. So if we look, there are eight pieces here in total. So now my denominator is eight. Three of them are orange. One of them is blue. But in total, if we add them together, the denominators stay the same, but we add our numerator. So our numerator is three and a four, so we add them together and we have four pieces out of the eight are colored in. And let's check one, two, three, four. Right, so you're going to be drawing your own model to calculate. So I'm going to give you a question and I want you to see if you can do the same with our eights. So if we have four eights plus two eights and work that one out for me, please. So pause the video now, draw this, and think one, your four eights, you can do maybe red, and your two eights can be blue, and then you will have a total amount that is colored in out of all of my eights. How many are colored in? So quickly do that now, and then we'll go through the answer. Okay, so if I have my four eights, plus my two eights. So I've got four pieces and I'm just going to color them in using the same bar model that we used for the previous question. There's my four eights, I've colored them in black and I'm going to color in my two eights in pink. And in total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six eights colored in. I don't change my denominator because I'm not adding more holes to this. My hole is still eight. I am just adding more parts to it, to the original. So when we add fractions, we are only adding the numerators together. We leave our denominator alone. So using either a circle or a bar model, just like we've shown, I want you to pick one of these questions and answer it or if you want to challenge yourself you can do all three so you can draw it would probably be best actually to use your bar model to do this because it is easier to draw the um the amount equally in a bar model than it is in a circle so you would draw three bar models that one's a bit skew this one you would be putting into five equal pieces. This one would be in seven. And this one would be in 10. And then you would color in, in the different colors. This one you would color in, and I will use a different color to do it. You would color in one, maybe in red, and then another one in a different color, and then get a total, and you would do the same for those. So pause the video now and go through these questions.
Right. Rosie and Whitney are solving these questions. Rosie says that our answer is 6 over 7, but Whitney says the answer is 6 over 14. Who do you agree with and explain why? I want you to think back to our um, rule here that when we're adding fractions, we only add the numerators together and the denominator stays the same. So have a look at these questions. You can work it out yourself if you would like, and then you can explain to me which one is correct or which one you agree with and explain why. Right, another question. Mo and Teddy share chocolates. They both eat an odd number of chocolates. Complete this number sentence to show what fraction of the chocolates they have eaten. So remember your odd numbers are numbers that can only be divided by one in themselves. Your even numbers are numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And they both eat an odd number. And you have to tell me, finish that question. So if they eat in total 12 over 12, that actually means they eat all of them. So how many chocolates could Mo have had? How many chocolates could Teddy have had? if they both had an odd number of chocolates? Could they have had, are there more than one option for how many they had? So you can show me your working for that, please. Once you have done those two questions, you will then be looking at your independent task. Your independent task says the following, shade circles like this one to help you complete these addition questions. So you need to um, draw some circles and break them up into eight equal pieces, and then use that to help you to answer the following. One eighth plus three eighths, five eighths plus one eighth, three eighths plus three eighths, five eighths plus three eighths. Question two says to use a bar model to help you. And like I mentioned earlier, this may be a little bit easier to draw. So use the bar model to help you to answer the questions, one third plus one third, one fifth plus one fifth, one fifth plus two fifths, one fifth plus three fifths. And lastly, complete these addition questions. Three eighths plus four eighths, three ninths plus four ninths, three twenty ninths plus four twenty ninths, three one hundred and thirds, one hundred and threes, plus three over 103, um, five over 31, plus nine over 31, and 17 over 111, plus 33 over 111. And then as an added extra, I would like you to come up with a rule of what you need to do when you are adding fractions with the same denominator. Don't forget to share your work with us on Tapestry. Please make sure when you're drawing your bar graphs or laying out your work that you are doing so neatly so that I can read the questions correctly and make sure you are numbering your, your questions and putting them in the correct order. And don't forget to put your work onto Tapestry by 4 p.m. this afternoon. <laughs>